Uh, we're going to graph y equals ln x. Okay, remember what ln is? That is log x. Uh, base c, right? So this is what we're doing is log x base c. So we're going to do a table uh, x and y. Now this time we've got to pick smart x values. We don't just do one, two, three. We know we can't do negative values, so we'll skip those. Uh, zero doesn't work either, but I'll just put zero in. And we're going to do, uh, if I do one, I think I could do one. That might work. If I do x is one, y is going to be ln one. What's ln one? Well, you've got to think it's base e, e to the power of what equals one. Log one's always zero, okay? But now what else can we do? Can we do log 2 base e? You're going to need your calculator for that. We're going to try and avoid decimals here. All we can do here is pick smart x values. We're going to do x is e. And e is about 2.7, remember? But if we put that in, we get y equals ln e. And what's ln e? You've got to think, okay, e to the power of what equals e? 1. Okay, so you've got the point e1. So we can put these in. Uh, 1, 0. That's there. Okay, it's going to give the same log shape. E1, so E is where? E is about 2.718281828. E, that's going to be there. All right, so we've got that point there. Might just uh, put a little dot, dot, dot in there. Okay, so that's the point E1. What else can we do? 2E? No, 2E won't work. You can try, but we'll end up with a decimal. We're going to do e squared. So let's do that. If I do e squared, I get y equals ln e squared. What's that equal to? Uh, well, I think this came up in the lesson yesterday. So you've got to think e to the power of what equals e squared? e to the what equals e squared? And 2. Okay, obviously that must be 2. And we get the point 2. So e squared 2. Ah, oh, but what's the e squared though? E, hmm, e is about 2.7. So what's e squared? Ah, oh, well, e is going to be between 2.7 times 2.7. What's that? 49, 4, 7 2 is 14, 18, 0. 2 7 2 is 14, okay, the 1. 2 7 1 is 5, 9, 12, okay, the 1. 729, that's 7.29, okay, so that's about 7.29, about here, I guess. And we go up to 2. Okay, so it looks like E squared is about there. I'll just put the dot, dot, dot in again. That's about E squared. What else can we do? We've got one, two, three. If we're going to go, zero is not going to work. Okay, you can try that yourself. What if I want to go between zero and one? Remember we did a half before? What would we do this time? We would do one over e, which is going to be what? So if x is one over e, y equals ln one over e. What's that? Uh, one over e can be written as e to the minus one. And think, okay, e to the power of what equals e to the minus one? e to the power of what is e to the minus 1? That's got to be just minus 1, obviously. So we've got the point 1 over e minus 1. 1 over e is, well, e is kind of close to 2.5. That's about 4. Or close to 3. So it could be like a, a quarter or a third about that range there. So like, that's like 1 over e there. And it's going to come down to minus 1. Okay, and obviously you can see the shape forming there. Asymptote going out like so. Put the equation next to that, so y equals ln x. Same shape, it's just a different scale. All right, can you see that? So like we said before, we had f minus 1 f of x equals x. Let's write the equivalent here. This is going to be uh, ln of e to the x is just going to equal x. Okay, and you see that here, whenever you've got um, ln of something, it just equals something. So it's kind of like the log and the e to the power of just cancelling out, and then you get whatever that is up there. Okay, so it's kind of like the log and the e cancels out, leaving x. And also the reverse order. 
e to the ln x is always equal to x as well. Okay, that relationship is always true.